Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the Buddy Reviews. Uh, today we are going to be going over the uh, OpsCore uh, Skeleton Arc set for ACH helmets. So this is the OpsCore Skeleton Arc set for the ACH. Uh, this is a uh, set of tan and it comes with the uh, optional bungees, both hook and carabiner sets. <clears throat> so if you get yourself a set of these, uh, this is the packaging it comes in. This comes in a nice uh, Ziploc bag like almost all the other Ops Core uh, components. And it's got a full color here. Um, sometimes I see arc rails sold on the internet, in a particular eBay, with um, black and white paperwork with them. And it begins to make me question their authenticity if they are real or not. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open this up. So, uh, when you get this, it's got your uh, paper from Opscore. It's got your installation instructions. It goes over uh, everything in here and what you want, how to install it, how everything works, and what they're for. Um, what you get with this here you get a pair of rails you get two bungees that are the hooks two that are uh, the different style hooks you get two Picatinny style rail mount pieces and you get uh, two of these other adapters. I believe these are for like a contour camera or something. I can't remember what these are fucking for, but uh, you get these two guys too. You also get a screw set. And you get a whole bunch of cable ties, zip ties. And at first, when I saw this, I was like, why in the hell do they give you a bunch of fucking zip ties? That is just weird. But... I looked at the instructions, and it actually tells you what the zip ties are for. You're supposed to route them through the arc rails to route cables. I was like, oh, okay. Never saw that before, and probably will never use it. But you do get them, and they're pretty cool. Zip ties are awesome. Zip ties are useful. Anyway, as you can see, uh, the rail has the Ops Core O right here, and... When you flip them over, they actually have a U.S. patent pending. It gives you the patent number. <clears throat> and it says in here, uh, ACH, one size. And then some other uh, information here. I don't know what these numbers mean, what they're for. But that's what it says on the underside of your rail. So, if you get rails that are meant for ACH, they say they're real ops cores. If they don't have the O... And they don't have this other information in here. They're probably not real. Just for your edification. I've seen a couple of these uh, for sale. And they only came with either uh, the standard hook bungees. Or no bungees. Or uh, just these little um, these uh, carabiner bungees. Uh, this one was a cool set because it came with both. <clears throat> And I, I jumped on it because I was like, ah, oh, it's kind of cool. Because I've been wanting to mess with these bungees. I've got plenty of these already. But it was kind of nice to get another set of, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, another set of uh, screws. You can always never have too many extra screw sets. And now I have uh, an umpteen billion of these guys. Ooh, that was loud. An umpteen billion of these bad boys, uh, both real and uh, fake now. So I have a nice big collection. Uh, all in all, um, with Opscore, I don't uh, expect anything less than a decent quality, and these meet the expectation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this, and we're going to put these on the helmet. And we're back. So I'm not actually fully installing the rail. I'm just kind of putting it on there, uh, just like real tapping it in, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like, because I... Uh, <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I, I need to do some research on some of the bungees because I want to figure out which bungees I want to put in here. 
and I don't feel like doing that at the moment, but I just want to show you what it looks like on a large ACH helmet. So this is a, the one size rail. Uh, this is a large ACH. And now I'm going to pause you again and go grab a medium and show you what it looks like on the medium. And we're back again. And so this is the uh, one size rail on a medium shell. Um, this is a uh, airsoft shell, so it's a little thinner than a standard helmet. Uh, but you'll notice uh, when it was sitting on my uh, large shell, uh, the screw actually sat differently um, than it does on the medium. Here it sits completely flush where it's going to cover up the hole completely. And uh, when you have it on the large shell, it kind of sits further back like that and you have more space. So that's kind of how this one size rail works where there's some give and play between how uh, it sits in the uh, bracketing of the helmet, the screws. And there's play here forward and back to give you room for the size of the helmet and that's kind of how they got around the, the sizing issue for the rails so i thought that was kind of cool so that is a proper fitment for a medium shell and a large and it will work as seen here on a uh, a cheap chinese crappy uh, mitch style uh, shell because it is the thin walled uh, garbage helmet which I had from my other video which you will have hopefully seen uh, before this one where I took this helmet and made it uh, considerably better uh, right now it's been restripped back down to bare tacks for um, painting purposes because he wanted to paint it for the project we're working on so that is all I have for you guys I hope this was an enlightening video and kind of uh, gave you an idea of what these awesome One Science Fits All ACH uh, arc rails are all about. I'm really excited to get this whole helmet put together. And when I do, I will also be uh, covering a um, Narotos uh, Universal Shroud. I've had one of those laying around for quite a while. I've just never got around to putting it on anything. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on this uh, this guy sitting over here. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to go into further detail on anything, I will do so. Just hit me up and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there. Play some airsoft. Build yourself a cool lid like one of these. And sling some BBs. Take care, guys.